Hello, me as well as what's going on? It's Andrew or Skull H2 here, and today, um, I just wanted to quickly make this video for people who maybe they have parents who don't understand what frames per second is, or they have friends who don't, or you're kind of having a difficulty um, seeing differences between you know 30 and 60, 60 and 120, etc., etc. Um, so basically, I stole that. There's an animation. Um, it's 60 frames per second. 30 frames per second and 15 frames per second. Um, in between there is 24 frames per second, which is what movies are shot on. But this is to show you basically the smoothness of frames per second. So I'm gonna quickly explain frames per second for you. Frames per second in, in video is the amount of pictures taken per second to when it's strung together make a video. So this um, like my face right now is being recorded at 30 frames per second, but the black and white part of this video with the FPS moving across the screen, that is going to be in 60 frames per second. Um, so for instance, if I'm shooting with my phone, my phone, I believe shoots at 30 frames per second. So that's what most people use on YouTube. Some more artsy people like to use 24 frames per second. Some people like 60 frames per second. I know a lot of tech people do that. They also upload in 4K. So, how do you do slow-mo? Slow motion is a lot of more pictures taken per second. That's why cameras that have slow motion video get very expensive and they tend, they're not they really tend, but they can overheat, so they can only shoot a certain amount of time, plus, if they're in high resolution, like what the slow-mo guys use, it takes up a lot of storage, because the more pictures you take, the higher quality video you want, it's gonna get, the file size is gonna be huge. So, my phone can shoot, I believe, 120 and 240 frames per second, so that is actually quite a lot for a phone, um, so you get you can get pretty nice slow motion out of it, but you can't get something like a Phantom Flex would do, which is numerous thousands of frames per second. It's ridiculously high quality too. So, but yeah, uh, that's how that's what frames per second is. So it's in games, it's the amount of time the screen updates per second. So um, it's kind of like it's kind of like refresh rate. It's similar, but not quite the same. Um, and yeah, so usually a lot of people like higher frames per second. Um, there was one movie, one of the Hobbit movies, I think, was shot in 48 frames per second, and people got sick because of it, because you have to adjust, basically, if you're not used to 60 frames per second or anything really higher than 30, you have to kind of adjust to it a little bit. So, when I, I know when I first started playing with this computer, things were at 60 frames per second, and it was weird. But eventually you get used to it, and yeah. So, I'm going to quit talking, and that's going to be it. So, yeah. Like, if you liked it, favorite videos, favorite, if you want to share the video, subscribe for more. And uh, tell me what's your preferred choice of frames per second in videos and video games. So, yeah. Take care. Bye!